Hey everyone, in the last video we discussed the um, how can we add rooms inside our building. So we added the dimensions or the outlines of the rooms inside our building as you remember here in the 3D view. What are we going to do in this lesson? In this lesson we are going to add the uh, apertures or the openings inside our building and what i mean by this i would like to add doors and windows okay so how can i do this so as you can see you can add after clicking on this fourth tab apertures you will find here the window okay you can simply click on select here and you can select what type of uh, window and door you would like to add okay so as an example i would like to add a door like this one door okay so as you can see this is the shape of the door as you can see here and you can find also the dimensions of the door as you can see this is the dimensions of the door 0.9 two meters height and 0.075 as a depth so as you can see 2.9 and depth you can control the height and the width and depth of the door from this settings okay now let's say i would like to add a door let's say here in this room so if we look at the 3d for this room you can see that this room room number one it does not have any door as you can see here okay like this Okay, let's where is door number one this one does not have any door how can i add a door like this simply we would like to add a door here this is our door click and drag like this and put it inside the wall as you can see we cannot put it inside any space because the program or the dialects program understands this is a space of the room so you cannot add a door here or here However, you can add a door inside uh, the uh, room itself or the wall of the room itself. So I can put it in any wall here. Let's say put it here like this. So as you can see, this is our door. You can see this is the beginning and the end of the door installed. However, as you can see here, this door starts from here to here remember that before we continue remember that the doors and windows are not essential uh, they don't affect the lighting design this is just an extra step if you would like to add doors and windows so i'm showing you how can you do this simply click on it then uh, using the keyboard uh, move using the arrows in the keyboard click on the right one like this okay so you can move this one by clicking on move at first move at first like this then uh, clicking on the arrow of the keyboard you can see it moves okay as you can see here now the second uh, option move you can also use the scale to increase the size and the uh, or decrease the size of the door or you can use the dimensions here so let's say if you would increase the width for example to um, for example 1.9 just as an example you can see that the door became very very large okay so let's get back to uh, 0.9 like this so you can control the dimension of the room of the door itself from here okay now can we scale scale it like this and you can uh, scale from this side or the other side so let's say from this side when these two arrows appear click and drag like this okay like this so as you can see the door the size of the door increase you can uh, click like this and make the door really small like this or you can return it back like click and drag like this okay uh, click and drag till here so as you can see the start of the door the end of the door in the 2d so as you can see we added a door into the dialect evo program now what if i would like to see this in the 3d view click here as you can see this is room number one and as you can see this is the door okay we added a door to the room if we 
rotate like this like this you can see here the room number one and its own door okay okay let's uh, try another one so you can understand um, let's say this one for example select the door click and drag into the wall like this then zoom in okay like this select it and move uh -huh. like this here for example let's see this is the beginning this is the end so it is um, accurate door let's see the 3d view like this the second room you can see the door here and the door here okay so we added here two doors okay uh, now if, what if we have a double door like this one you can simply add more from uh, the internet you will find more different types of doors or we can simply use this door uh, two times like this click like this and add another one so we can take this one and drag here like this take this one and uh, move then drag it like this like this so as you can see two doors um in front of each other okay beside each other okay so if we see the 3d view we'll see the two doors um, the doors are not same as each other they are opposite to each other okay so we can do like this uh, select this one for example and rotate 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 one time like this okay rotate another time like this okay so you can see now the two doors are similar to each other okay so if we see the 3d view you will see the two doors are same as each other okay let's see the other side like here same as each other okay you can also find more different types of door on the uh, objects you can download it from the um, catalog for example okay now so we have seen how can we add rooms to our building what about windows as you can see we have window here and another window here okay here same as doors but we click on select and select any type of window you can see an arced window you can see a rectangular rectangular window so as an example i will select the rectangular okay then take the um, the window and add it here inside of course the wall itself like this okay so we can um, set the dimensions starting from here the window start from here to for example here right so we can select the scale then go here and as you can see the lens 1.547 it appears you can move it like this till the end like this okay so we have a window here okay so we can change the height of the uh, window itself and of course the other dimensions as you can see here now let's see this one in the 3d view like this uh huh this is room number one the door and this is our window okay our windows get back to the other side you can see the window okay okay now let's add another type of window to the next room uh -huh. to this room for example okay this room has two um, windows combined to each other i don't know how but anyway we will add one window as it, sh it is showing here okay so let's um, go here select 
select the orchid one for example add one here and add a small one here okay just to make it clear like this click and drag here um, and like this then scale uh -huh. like this okay can add another one here a small one for example okay uh, scale make it small here and make it small uh, until here okay so we have here two windows two arcade windows let's see them in the 3d view you can see here this is the kitchen okay a small window okay and you can see here another window inside the wc itself small window a very long window but anyway it's just this is just for illustration you can just uh, get back here select this one for example decrease the height make the height uh, 0.5 okay 0.5 and this one 0.5 okay 0.5 and make some space between um, scale between the window and the um, the wall here too uh, scale make it a little bit smaller like this and see it in the 3d view okay you can see <laughs> in the 3d a very very small uh, window so let's make it one uh, 0.5 is really really small okay we can make it one and this one is also uh, one okay and instead of 0.5 um 3d view okay so it is a more logical uh, window okay like this small window here small window here okay okay now if we get back to this window you can find here this is a position of the window itself in x y uh, z and this one is also the position of the window itself okay so in this example we or in this lesson we discussed how can you add doors in the dialects evo and how can you add windows in dialects evo okay